Hi, and welcome to this video about this period tracker. You can purchase this spreadsheet on my shop product page, shop.mommoneymap.com, which I'll link to below, but you can also just watch this video to get information on how to track your period and what symptoms to watch for. This video goes over the period tracker in Excel, but there's also a Google Sheets version. I'll include all the links below. And just to confirm, this spreadsheet will help you to track your period flow and symptoms, analyze your period cycle for patterns and insights, as well as plan for PMS and ovulation. So let's jump into the period tracker. There are four tabs. Before navigating to the other tabs, you should go to the Start Here tab first and enter in the information that's requested. You'll see here that everything's pre-filled, but you can modify any of this information to match your situation or what you want to track. And then once you've done that, go to the period tracker. On this tab, you can enter in your daily period flows, symptoms, mood, weight, sleep, water, sex drive, and sexual activities. This area here is what's editable. Uh, this isn't editable. This is pre-populated based off of what you entered in the Start Here tab. So for every day that you're tracking, uh, you should go through and enter in whether it's the first day of your period, uh, your period flow, how much pain you're in, your mood, what your weight is, how much sleep you got on that day, how much water you drank, what your sex drive is, your sexual activity, as well as what symptoms you had on that day. You'll see that when you put in a Y that it'll highlight in pink, and if you put in an N, it will stay as it is, just to make it easier for you to see what symptoms you had. An important note is for all the dropdowns, you should just select the option in the dropdown as opposed to entering something else, like if you try to enter in a field here, as this will impact the other tabs. So just stick to entering in what's in the dropdown. Entering information from the period tracker will auto populate the summary tab. And you'll see here there are tables and charts so you can quickly see a high level breakdown of your activities. You can also navigate to the calendar. This is also auto populated based off of what you entered in your period tracker. And you can so you can see in the summary above what the expected days are between periods, which is what you entered in the Start Here tab. And then this here is the average actual days between your periods uh, based on what you entered into the period tracker. You can quickly see the difference. And then most importantly, you can see when the expected date is of your next period, so you're not surprised, as well as the expected date of your next ovulation. This table here gives you more details about this information. And then on the right, you'll see just a very quick glance of when you actually had your period for each month. If you buy the product, there are more extensive PDF instructions with screenshots that I encourage you to read through as there's more information about the details, best practices, and frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching this video.